Well, this is Friday, and I know this is unusual to do another video the same week, but I'm not going to do as many pictures today, and my kids are coming in from Norfolk for the weekend. It's a crazy, busy Memorial Day weekend, so I thought I would give you a picture of them and the first time in the grass. Um, there are two puppies still available in this litter. One of them is the little female with um she's got the red collar on and she's got her butt towards us i'll show you in a minute there you go she's the little girl right there with a the little tiny white spot on her head and she has a red collar the chicken list a little bit there she is so she is still available the other one out here is a black puppy with circles on the collar because it's a yellow collar and to tell you circles are not circles let me see circles all right, so it's this little puppy right there, and it's a black male, and it's got circles on the collar. I'm pretty sure it's a male. I shouldn't say that, should I, until I actually pick it up and check, because I didn't check to see where. <laughs> and it's gone out there too far for me to get a hold of it. All right, let me go in here. Come here, Ornery. Let me go this way with the camera so I'm not showing you on the ground. Yep, it's a boy. Okay, it has boy plumbing. So, they're doing really good. Uh, I love it when they come out and they play like this and they're not afraid. Uh, it's a new experience for them on the grass. And it's a new experience to have this much room, which they haven't even begun to go to half of this yet. So I'm gonna try and give you at least some pictures. Uh, there's the brindle with the pink collar right in the center. Orange, the neon orange across there. There it is, it's, there she is. That's the neon orange collar. The forest green collar is the merle behind it. This is the royal blue collar puppy down here chewing on the blue toy. And the yellow collared merle puppy is right behind him. Wanting to get in there and see what the other guy's got. Yeah, the blue collar puppy really likes the blue toy. Oh, he lost it. Big sisters took it away from me. Nope, he's back for a second try. Uh, the red collar puppy is right there again, chewing on her back leg. Uh, we got the neon orange colored black puppy over here. So I lied. It wasn't the neon orange I showed you a minute ago. It was probably neon pink. It looked neon orange. Yeah, I think it was neon pink. Let me go back over here. So there she is trying to bite the other one. That's the neon pink. Me and the purple is over here by herself. Let's see, what else have we got? Um, well, we, ha we have a sibling. This usually breaks up pretty quick. Yep, we're done. So sometimes I intercede, sometimes I don't. Neon Green is sitting there thinking, oh, I didn't come out good on the end of that argument. Um, and I know the yellow collared puppies are so hard to tell. The yellow one that's not sold is right there with the circles on the collar. And the one with the X's on the collar is on the bottom of this argument with the neon orange collared puppy on top. He says, oh no, I've lost. There we go. So that's the one with the X's on the collar. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna move down this direction. And shoot, they finally figured out they can go all the way down here. They're very, very inquisitive. They're very outgoing for this litter, which I really like them when they're that way. It's nice to know that they're not afraid to do things um, and they're not afraid. To... That one says, I knocked myself down. That's the one with the X's on the collar. So he says, I can whip this puppy. I know I can, <laughs> except it gets throwing him on the ground. Uh, this one says, what is this thing that rattles? They've never had a rattle toy, and the, uh, the party one was looking at it like it was something that was going to get him. And if I say get him, or, and it's a girl, please don't panic. It's just, I have, they're always he's. We always have said that. I'm going to try and lighten this up just a little bit for you. The little yellow one with the X's says, I won, I got the toy. He better not sit there and show everybody or somebody's going to take it. Oh, no, the red collar puppy right there fell in the water. It is soaking wet. I mean, it is soaked. It, and you may not be able to tell it from this video, but 
it is absolutely soaked. And that's the one that's still available. It, it took a swim in the water bowl. For some reason, I'm, and I'm not, the sun's behind. This is like bleeding out really badly and I don't know why. All right, so we pop that. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Sorry about that. That's going to make it really yucky on that part of that video. But I thought you would really enjoy getting to see them out here and play in the grass. Uh, experience it for the first time. <laughs> the poor little red color puppy's going, I am all wet. I got to go get a towel and dry it off. It looks like, it looks like a drowned duck. It's not real happy because it's all wet. It says, I'm going to cry. So we'll, we'll rescue it and go get a towel here in a second and let you, uh, no, I know, I hear you crying, sweetie. You're all wet. Yeah, you play, you pay. I think they were chasing each other and she just took a nose dive into the water bowl. I'm going to leave these guys out here because I want them to wear themselves out. And then I'm going to get you a couple pictures. Um, we're going to do them in the flower bed today. I'm so tired of doing them inside on a table. And now that it's summer, we don't have to do that anymore. So, just, oh no. Hopefully the blue one's not gonna go in the water bowl. Nope, it's gonna drink and get it over with. That's good. Uh, some of them at this age do become water crazy and we do have a problem of it with them when they get a little bit older because they are so bad with the water. There goes the red color. Oh, she almost went in the bowl again. She took off and ran right into the bowl, but at least she didn't flip inside of it this time. So they've spread themselves out over the whole pen. They're having a great time. I hope everybody has a great Memorial Day weekend. Um, we will have family here until after Monday, so um, probably be Tuesday before we start getting pictures updated. And after these guys have pictures today, it will probably be videos from there on out. So uh, it's too hard when they get to be this active to shoot them and get them to hold still. So this will probably be the last week of still photos. And then we'll go to a video every week so you can see them up close and um, see the changes. And activity-wise, I think you can see there's a huge change over the other day. And it's such a pretty day. So I'm going to let them wear themselves out out here. And I'm sure Gloria is glad for the break. So have a great weekend. Have a safe one. God bless. And we'll talk to you next week.